me and my roommate, we love this restaurant in Boston. It's called Bar Taco. Best taco place in Boston if you're in Boston. You walk into this restaurant, you're greeted by a receptionist. They give you a table. You get to the table, there's a QR code. You know, we're in COVID times. You pull out your phone, you scan the QR code. On your phone, you just see the menu and then you choose whatever tacos you want, some appetizers, some drinks, you add them to your tab and then boom, order. You sit there, you talk with your friends and before you know it, somebody's bringing your food and boom, you start eating. You did not see what happened behind the scenes of how that food was prepared. Similarly, you can think about full stack web applications like such. Welcome back to the series for beginners about web applications. Remember, last time I talked to you about the two parts of a full stack web application. I talked about how full stack web applications have these two parts. I just mentioned them and I give you the homework to look into depth about those two parts. The first part that I talked about was the front end. The second part that I talked about was the back end. The next videos in this series are gonna dive a little deeper into what the front end is and what the back end is. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the front end of a full stack web application. I'll give you an example of this restaurant that I love, me and my roommate, we love this restaurant in Boston. It's called Bar Taco, best taco place in Boston if you're in Boston. You walk into this restaurant, you're greeted by a receptionist. They give you a table. You get to the table, there's a QR code. You know, we're in COVID times. You pull out your phone, you scan the QR code. On your phone, you just see the menu and then you choose whatever tacos you want, some appetizers, some drinks, you add them to your tab and then boom, order. You sit there, you talk with your friends and before you know it, somebody's bringing your food and boom, you start eating. You did not see what happened behind the scenes of how that food was prepared. Similarly, you can think about full stack web applications like such. When we talk about the front end of a web application, I want you to think about a restaurant. When you walk into a restaurant, what you see in the restaurant is the front end of the restaurant. What you don't see in the back, that is the back end of a restaurant. Now think about Instagram. We wake up every morning, pull out our phone, and as soon as we load that app up, we see stuff on our phone. We don't know where that stuff came from. All we see is a feed. All we see is a bunch of stories. All we see is a bunch of comments. How they got to our phone, we don't think about. What we interact with is the front end. Again, the front end of your full stack web application is what your users see and interact with. There's another concept that I wanna talk about when it comes to front end of a full stack web application. That concept is a concept of a client. I want you to guess, when I say the client of a front end of a full stack web application, what do you think I'm talking about? I wanna bet you're thinking that the client of a full stack web application is the user. But it's not. The client of a full stack web application is the place where the front end of this full stack web application is running. So for instance, when you type Instagram.com in your browser and you hit enter, that browser is the client because that is where the front end of this full stack web application is running. When you are running Instagram as a mobile app on your phone, what do you think the client is? The client is your mobile phone. When you are rich and you have an Apple Watch and you have an Instagram app on your Apple Watch and there's a notification and you click that thing, what is the client of this full stop application? It's your Apple Watch. When you have Alexa and you're like, hey Alexa, what's the weather? And this is like, the weather in Dallas, Texas is too hot, <laughs> you know? In that case, the client is your Amazon Echo device. Same, 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 same. So what I just talked about is that the front end of a full stack web application is what your users interact with. The client of a full stack web application is where the front end of this full stack web application runs. Now, homework time, if you can, I want you to keep digging into what is the back end of a full stack web application. When we're talking about a back end of a full stack web application, what happens there? And I want you to use that analogy of that restaurant as some tip. Also, if you want extra, extra credit, I want you to dig a little bit and figure out what do the people that code use to build these front ends? Next time, I'll add these extra resources for those of you that are more interested in understanding the building blocks of the front end. And then after that, we'll dive into the back end. Until next time.
Peace.